Martha Radzetz today showed the danger of the mainstream media when they're either trying to play uh, this one said, that one said, or when they're trying to change the narrative or when they're trying to be a part of the narrative. I want you to listen to how she handled the secretary and then we'll take it on the other side. I fought back tears as a 13-year-old girl sobbed uncontrollably, explaining through a translator how terrified she was having been separated from her grandmother and without her parents. Murphy said these are facilities you wouldn't want to put your child in for more than 10 minutes. I know you say you have a plan now, but again, how did this happen? You knew there was a pandemic before. HHS had failed to do this before as well under Obama. Under, under President Trump. So how do you speed this up and how did this happen? Martha, it takes time. We all know what happened to that 13-year-old girl in the prior administration. She was turned away and turned into the desert of Mexico or sent back to the very country from which she fled by reason of fear of persecution. We are addressing the needs of that uh, child now. Uh, when I say it takes time, I mean it because we're dealing with a dismantled system. And we did not have the ordinary, um, safe, and just transition from one administration to another. And so we are executing on our plans. We have uh, dispatched FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, to assist HHS in building additional capacity to address the needs of children and to move those children through to their sponsors in the United States to shelter them in the way that they deserve and that their needs require. That is what we are doing. Now, when people speak of, well, you knew of this, plans aren't made at 20,000 feet. Plans are contracts, personnel, policies, training, procedures, all of the elements of operations that were entirely dismantled and taking care of a workforce that was not vaccinated Mr. And not Mr. Secretary, from the I, Mr. Secretary I want to stop you there and I want to know if you've got this great plan why will you not let the media in I, I understand privacy concerns but will you let them in today or this week Martha it is not only privacy concerns let me be clear we're in the midst of a pandemic we're talking about a crowded border patrol station where we are focused on operations. At the same time, and let me assure you that we are working on a plan to provide access so that people could see what is going on in a border patrol station. And I would encourage people to also see um, a, a Department of Health and Human Services facility where the children are sheltered and where they belong and where we are moving them to. You talk about the Trump administration and what was in place there. There. you did away with that wouldn't it have been better to have a plan before you did away with that we are executing the plan that we have and let me share with you because we will succeed and when we look back at this time however difficult it has been we will get through it we will get through it successfully what we will all say is that we worked our way through a difficult time we uh, administer the laws as they were intended and we lived up to our values and our principles as a nation. And that is what we are accomplishing, and that is not what was done in the prior administration. It's tough, but we can do it. This is what we do, and we will accomplish our mission. You notice she just interrupted him, ignored what he is saying. He answered the question actually twice, and she simply ignored it because there's a message that she wanted to get across. Why are you dismantling what Donald Trump has done when you supposedly didn't have something uh, ready yet? If you have somebody killing somebody uh, and their policy is to kill and you go ahead and say, I am going to allow them to continue killing until I have a perfect plan in place. Does that make any sense? Absolutely not. You stop the killing as best you can and you move on from there. That is a Congress argument to what she's trying to make there and what the, the secretary did, I think, very well. And what the way he ended, we are going to execute the laws of the United States through our values. In other words, we are not going to be the animal that was, the immoral animal that was our previous president. 
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.